here in the UK, where nearly a third of households are expected to face fuel poverty this winter as energy bills soar. According to analysis from the End Fuel Poverty Coalition, or EFPC, about 10.5 million households will slide into fuel poverty in the first three months of next year. The UK government uses that term when a household can't afford to either heat or cool their home to an adequate temperature. Meanwhile, according to new projections from the consultancy firm Cornwall Insights, the annual price cap for energy bills will soar to around US$4,300 from October onwards and then rise again to about US$5,100 from January of next year. Average household bills have already risen by 54%. So far in 2022, amid a worsening cost of living crisis that could force many Britons to choose between eating and heating this winter. In May, the UK government announced an $18 billion package of support, which includes a payment of almost $500 US to 29 million households from October onwards. However, experts fear that support simply is not going to be enough. For, for more, our correspondent Alex Izat sent this report from London. Whether Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak become Boris Johnson's successor, both will potentially face an energy crisis in the first few months in office, in addition to the ongoing cost of living crisis, which has seen energy bills surge. Energy consultancy Cornwell Insight predicted bills would increase to around £3,500 in October, up from £1,900 today, before rising even further in the new year. January's forecast represents a 116% increase in energy bills. Based on these estimates, the End Fuel Poverty Coalition says that about 10.5 million households will be in fuel poverty for the first three months of next year. Energy bills have rocketed in recent months, and that's due to the rising price of natural gas, partly as a result of the war in Ukraine. But bills were increasing before the war, and despite oil, gas and electricity companies raking in billions of pounds in extra profits, there has been no reprieve for customers. Many people are looking for an immediate action plan and not wait until the end of the current Conservative leadership contest.